you don't want one? Um, yeah. Or is there like a specific season? Yeah, okay. Hi, we're the Garnermans. We quit our nine to fives, packed up the bare necessities, loaded up our kiddos and dogs, and chose to live our lives a little differently. Come share our adventure with us as we spend the next little while exploring the San Juan del Sur area of Nicaragua. Nice and calm. For now, anyways. Nice and calm out. It was raining hard this morning. That was crazy. Yeah. There we are, Costa Rica over there again. There up on the right, towards the right side of the screen, is the port that they used and built to stop, I guess, the invaders coming through or pirates coming through. And just up ahead is the man made rapids that they used to force the ships to do a zigzag pattern through here, which slows them down. And then they are able to use their cannons and shoot at them. This town is really neat. I gotta take some video when we go through here. It looks like we got rain coming right here. We might get in hopefully before the rain hits. Kind of suck to get rained on. we're going to do lunch today. There's not a lot of tourism here right now, so you got to sort of come and pre-order. A lot of places are closed. I think we're the only tourists here. What are, you, what are we thinking for lunch? I don't know. I want us to come and order. Let's go figure out what we're going to do here. Cow, more tourists. What? Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I'm not getting near you. <laughs> Horses are generally peaceful. Yeah. Until they kick. Until they kick, yeah. You're in the middle of nowhere. Broken ribs. <laughs> Pass. Yeah. Add, add <laughs> it to the list. So I think we're going to the Chocolate Ria right now. Yeah. Now we're going up the hill. Megan loves hills. I know. Megan took a big bail earlier. Back in the main common area when they mopped the floor and they were playing with the kids and you know how you do the sideways run. Yeah, feet went out and down she went. I love it. Strange to see in such a remote spot, mass being worn. Yeah. Like nobody else is wearing them, it's just odd. And this guy coming through. Yeah. <laughs> Claire, that was close!
Good recovery. I guess this must be the school. All the kids at school here. Ty, you want to go join them? No? Huh. This is pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, they're the ones sweeping off and getting the water all out of everything and cleaning it up. That's cool. I guess, eh? They're hardcore. All right, I think here we are. This is way different climate than what we've been dealing with back in San Juan del Sur. It's, it feels like what I expected to be here. It's humid. It's really humid though, eh? Ty, he's got man down. You know, thing in the shoe. Yeah, it's uh, this is our summertime here, I guess, because of we're a little bit south and closer to the uh, Atlantic as opposed to this Pacific Ocean. It's a little different climate, and it is hot, humid. For another couple months, I think here. If you want the number for a carriage. 25 bones, the whole tour. There's our crew. Not to deal with all the people in the square coming at you and whatever. I'll just give good you people, spending four days with them. It's good. What do you say? Cacao. I didn't expect this to be what chocolate came from. Yeah. Why, why did I not know that? I don't know. Well, it's weird. you never taught what chocolate actually I guess, yeah. Most people think chocolate looks like part? a Hershey's bar, right? Is that what you pictured, like chocolate coming from? Like, not at all, eh? The way to see the inside. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Right. This is pure powder. powder, right, which is the base. Yeah. yeah. So bitter. Except for the mucilage. Yeah, yeah. 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 this is sweet. Oh, the yeah. oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. The white stuff is nice and sweet. Don't bite into it though. Don't bite into it though. No, you just suck on it? You just take the white stuff off. Okay, thank you. Oh, you do? The other parts of the bean or whatever that you get the cocoa from. Okay. The music is really sweet. Oh, we're going to give this a full on go. Is it good? You just suck on it, I guess. Don't, don't chew into it. Yeah, there's a, the a little fruit. Or, Megan, uh, do you want to try? The chocolate juice, cacao, beautiful. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Holy. So this is. Oh, it's it? Fine, I guess right? yeah. the other stuff's inside. Yeah. How is it, Ty? Good. Is it? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. It's sweet. You just suck on it. Oh my god, that is really sweet. Mm -hmm. Sour head. Oh, wow. No, it's bitter. It's no, no, the seed's bitter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't bite. Just suck on the fruit. It's like a sour. It's a little different, eh, good? You like it? Mm. Wanna try it? Mm. Mm. We learned about this farm's chocolate process through their tour. As you can see from the previous clip, the cacao is a fruit grown on trees. The fruit's white, slippery coating is very sweet and edible. This farm grows some of their own cacao on their 32 hectare property, but will import some beans from surrounding areas. They purchase the raw cacao with the slimy coating or mucilage on them for about eight Cordobas per pound. This farm processes about 12 and a half tons of cacao a year. This is the fermentation room where the cacao will spend six days total, two days in each box. From this room, they move into a crowded plastic area. In this area, the beans spend two days being turned every 15 minutes to help the drying process and prevent mold. They then move from this area to another area similar to this where they will spend another two days. Then they'll move to a third area similar for another two days. After 12 days, they go into this final drying area. The beans will spend between five and 22 days here. If the sun is bright and it's hot, they only spend five days in here. If it's overcast, raining, or cooler, they spend up to 22 days in here. This is the final drying area. From here, the beans are ready for processing to make the various different chocolates. This facility sells beans to Switzerland, Germany, and Holland. They sell this raw cacao for 1,200 US dollars for 2,000 pounds. The amount was surprising to all of us and thought it was on the low side of things. We got to see how the beans are processed here, 
by being told they roast the beans, roll them to separate the bean and the husk, and grind the beans to a powder. Using the hand machine, the beans would go through five rounds of grinding, but now they use an automatic grinder for the process. We then watched her make a bit of chocolate with water, sugar, and raw cacao, and we got to sample it, and it was so good. After the chocolate factory tour, we headed to the fortress of the Immaculate Conception. It is located at the Rodal del Diablo, or Devil Stream. It has a great view both up and down river, perfect for using cannonballs to down pirate ships. Construction began on this structure in 1673 and ended in 1675. It is being considered for a World Heritage Site. We are upriver, so again, this was all to defend uh, the trade route through here. So the ships had to come off of the Atlantic Ocean and they would come up the Rio San Juan River and then get into Lake Nicaragua and attack Granada, which at the time was the capital here. So they built this fort as one of the strongholds for the area. Here, how they would come up the river. They give me trouble because I went off ahead, but you can see how they come up the river. And here, where they man made these rapids, these are all man made rapids, and they did this on purpose to force. they had here for cannons they just shoot them pretty sweet all right so i guess down here we've been informed that these were old prisoner cells oh look at that that's how old this is eh yeah i don't know if these are prisoner cells or what Pretty rough and beat up in there now, but it definitely sort of fits that agenda. Yeah, and then there's Megan. Why don't you crawl down in there and see what's in the hole? Um, there's a bottle. Yeah, you want to crawl in there? And some toilet paper. Maybe we'll send Claire in there. Claire, you want to go down in the scary cave? That's probably a bunker. No, <laughs> I don't blame you, kid. <laughs> This kid is insistent on going on top of the arch. So with everybody gone now, mom had to relent.